In my experience, the people that know best about plugins and are like the nerdiest about music tech are the ones that make the, the least music. It's all about love. Wherever. Signers, welcome to my studio. It's another beautiful day here making music. Fuck. Yeah, I completely forgot about the taxes thing, so let me just take care of it really quick, just just with a snap. I wish this would really go this fast and easy. This was quite annoying. But problem number one solved. Problem number two is actually is actually a way bigger one that has to do with the balance between like spending time making music, taking care of other stuff and things that distract you from actually making music. As you know, I was sick the past weekend, so I started gaming and I just love gaming, but it's not good for me, especially as a self-employed person, I can yeah, I can just decide whatever I do with my time. I could now take off for the rest of the year. I could, I don't know, I can do whatever I want basically, which is great. But on the other hand, if you don't do what is necessary to sustain your self-employed business, making music, being a music producer and DJ, you will eventually fail. And I have a slight gaming addiction. I haven't played in the past two years really anything serious, but I now started to play. But I now unfortunately started playing a game, got a little addicted. It started with playing late at night. Still playing the next day in the morning. Playing while taking a shower. And trying to play while brushing my teeth. I even played while drinking my morning coffee, waiting for the tram, of course also. But yeah, I gotta stop now because I'm in the studio to make music and a lot of people always ask me how actually to find the time to make music and I struggled the same thing back when I was in school because I had to go to school and then I wanted to make music. But I think it's all about just how dedicated you are. If you really want to make music, there's always time. You just have to sacrifice a couple of things, for example, gaming or everything else that is kind of entertainment, watching Netflix, hanging out with friends, getting drunk, partying, all these kind of things will just take time away. And I don't mean with that, that you just should make music 24 seven, but I much rather want to say that there's always time for anything. You just have to find the gaps within your day and make the time for it. For example, I never thought it would be possible for me to do a daily vlog and I'm now doing it for, yeah. For so many days, I don't even know how many. I think this is 72, so plus 365, because that's already the second year. So yeah, 437 days in a row and editing these videos and like recording them and everything takes quite a lot of time, but I still manage to being productive as if I wouldn't do the vlog. I don't know, I, I somehow managed to like put it in the gaps of my day so it doesn't really steal that much time from making music. So if you really want to be a music producer, DJ full-time, make it in the music industry, you just have to dedicate a whole lot of time to it. It's not that that people are like talented really, I don't believe in talent that much. I think that most times when people call something talent, it's actually just a whole lot of work, a whole lot of dedication, a whole lot of time that someone put into something. So if you listen, for example, to my tracks, I worked 10 years to make them sound like they sound now. And you can do the same. I think every person on this planet can can make music, electronic music. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to be very intelligent for it. It, it doesn't hurt if you are but it's more about putting the hours into it. It's something that is really based on experience. The more you mix, the more music you make, the more time you spend playing the keys, the guitar, or learning music theory, the better your music will be. Of course, all of that is easier. The earlier you start, the more time you have. I was lucky that I already started music production while I was in school. 
in school you you have by far the most time available here in germany school goes until two or maybe three and then the rest of the day you have time to just spend in front of the computer and learn everything about music i even didn't go a whole lot to school i preferred spending my time making music i also dropped out of college to to be able to to yeah just do what i like i didn't know if i would ever do it for a living i yeah maybe it was just really just stupid and at the end i'm i'm lucky that it somehow worked but i think it could work for anyone that just wants it enough and if you are at a point where you have to force yourself to make music and you're not really enjoying it then it's probably not the right thing for you because i mean if you really love it there's there's always a way even some people tell me i can't make that much music because i have like a full-time job if you're really dedicated you could get like a part-time job and use the other half of the day to make music and see how far you can get i think it's always possible to live also with less money if you're older and you have kids a family that's of course a whole nother story but i think even then it's possible to have like an hour per day where you just work on your music and i already talked about it in another video where it was all about procrastination i think that's right it's really hard for me to pronounce word but they'll be the dj friend in berlin he told me this little trick that he's like setting a timer whenever he's in the studio for three or four hours and in that time he's only making music. No emails, no phone calls, um, turning off the phone and just focusing and I think in those four hours you can achieve actually more than in eight hours with all of the distraction. And I think that's the other big main point besides trying to find more space for making music and more time for it is using the time that you have way more efficient. For example, I know so many people that just spend hours looking for new equipment, thinking about new equipment, and that time you could actually make another track instead of just sitting there and dreaming about it. You could make the music, release it, make money and actually buy it. Some people spend hours on online forums discussing about which plugin is the best and they totally lose the sense for actually making music they were so nerdy into like the production process that they forget about actually making music just as an example for me the most important is to finish a track that's the only thing that is really worth something the second you release the track you can make money with it you can advance as an artist get new connections better singer songwriters sign nicer new contracts and and get more gigs if you don't release the music it's just on your hard drive no one will ever notice no one will ever care about it there are just way too many artists out there that have tons of music on their hard drive the trick is actually finishing it and and releasing it that's the key and that's the main reason why all of those plugins all of these gear things and discussions about plugins and what technique is the best I don't really care about it I just see them as tools I use them to make my music I listen to my music and if it sounds all right no one will ever care which plugin you use no one will ever care what samples you use no one will ever care which equipment you use it, it doesn't matter at the end the only thing that counts is really the the product the result at the end and that is the song that you create so i hope this was enough motivation for you guys it definitely also motivated me these vlogs are also sometimes like a self therapy i now definitely won't play anymore it's back to working on this remix that i unfortunately can't share i can't share with you my working process as i usually do with all of my other songs as soon as i'm done with this remix it's back to one of my original tracks <laughs> As always, I worked way too long. I completely forgot tonight is actually a holiday. Extremely late, unprepared. Let's hurry up. Shit, uh, I actually wanted to take the scooter to be faster, but <laughs> I, I used all of my mobile connection for this month. Another downside of gaming. Now I have to run to, to actually make it in time. Shit. Yo. I don't know how, but I, I made it. And don't forget, above all of that is definitely family, friends, the people that are close to you. 
And this time I won't make the mistake and I, I won't forget to mention Vanessa, of course. Ta -ta -ta -ta. There she is. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm done with the vlog. Okay, bye. Wherever I am. And by the way, if you want to play against me, I'm sure I will play one or two more hours in the evening. Um, just add me. Oh